Hello, and welcome back to my video series on StarCraft Brood War modding. This particular tutorial will work for both 1.16.1 and earlier patches, as well as 1.20, the remastered patch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the iScript animation for the Ghost's graphic entry. This will sample the changes I made in my last custom unit tutorial, so we'll be using the same materials for this one. For this tutorial, we'll be using PyDat for minor data editing, PyIce to write the new animation code, PyGRP to preview the ghost's graphic, and PyMPQ to import all of our changes. If you don't have the Python modding suite, you can download it in the first link in the description of this video. Let's start with the changes we'll be making in PyDat. We're going to take the weapons.dat file we edited in the previous tutorial and change the factor to 4 on the Marine's weapon. This will display a damage value equal to 4 times the value we see in the amount field. We'll lower that from 20 to 6, so it'll show 24 damage when moused over in game. Then we'll change the X offset and Y offset fields to 5, which will make the graphic launch a bit closer to the gun barrel of the ghost's graphic. Lastly, we'll increase the weapon's cooldown to 2.5 seconds. In our modified units.dat file, we'll change the max hits field to 4 for both ground and air. This doesn't have any effect on gameplay, but if you plan on using mod data in conjunction with a custom map editor, this will make sure the proper damage values are displayed. That's all we need PyDat for, so we can close the program and move on to using PyIce to write the new iScript. Let's first launch PyMPQ to extract the ghost's graphic from stardat.mpq so we can make sure we're using the right frames in our animation code. The ghost's graphic is correctly titled, unlike a lot of other graphics, so just find unit slash terran slash ghost dot grp and extract it somewhere. Once the graphic is extracted, we can go ahead and open it using pygrp. Remember that you can make file associations on Windows by clicking the blue registry icon on the top of the program which will allow you to open certain files with their appropriate programs just by double-clicking on them in your explorer. The Ghost's GRP has a lot of frames, which are separated into sets of 17. Every 17 frames is a new set, which are numbered in hexadecimal. PyIce also displays them in decimal by generating comments after you save your code. Let's open PyIce now. Select the blue button in the top left to open the default iScript.bin from StarCraft's MPQs and select the ghost entry. Pressing Ctrl E or clicking this button will open the iScript entry. The original animation may look confusing or intimidating if you're new to iScript, but we're here to do a pretty simple job. We want to make the ghost fire its weapon four times per attack. We can use the Valkyrie's weapon iScript as a point of reference. It waits ten frames between each attack, but since we want our ghost's animation to be a bit snappier, we'll make him wait five frames between each attack. Scroll down until you've found the Ghost Ground Attack Repeat header. For now, don't worry about the blocks surrounding it, as they aren't crucial to what we need to accomplish. Find where the Attack opcode is being used. You'll notice a set of Play Frame opcodes below it, along with a wait for timing. These correspond to specific frames of the Ghost's graphic, which we can cross-reference with PyGRP. Doing so will reveal that the animation is quickly showing the ghost's muzzle fire for just a single frame before showing the frame set with the unlit rifle. Since our ghost is going to shoot four times, we'll want to set this to play four times, after each projectile is fired. But there's already a one frame wait in this animation, so we only need to put wait four below the play frame opcodes in order to get the magic number of five frames between attacks. Once you've added the wait opcode, you can duplicate the whole bit of code until the ghost has four attack commands. We won't need an additional wait after the last play frame opcode, so clean that up and save your iScript. If you messed up with any of the syntax, PyIce would give you an annoying error message. That didn't happen here, so we should be in the clear, though keep in mind that regardless of whether or not your code successfully compiles, the game could still crash or perform unexpectedly. Let's close the iScript entry and save our changes using Save As. We'll title our file iScript.bin, since that's the name StarCraft needs the file to be in in order to read it. Import the modified .dat files in the new iScript file with pympq. .dat files are always prefixed by arr slash, whereas iScript.bin requires the prefix scripts slash. 
Now let's launch our mod and behold the changes. If you did everything correctly, you should be seeing what I see on my screen. Congrats! I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. In the next part we'll look into replacing the ghost's graphic with a custom one, which is only possible on patch 1.16.1 or earlier. If you have any questions, reach out in the comments or join my Discord server where myself or another modder may be able to help you. See you next time!